so um, I actually have horse videos this week. Go figure. So I'm actually just getting ready to head on the road to Oregon. So probably by the time you're watching this, I'm going to be gone already. Um, Brit, my friend Tiffany and I are heading down to the brand finals in Oregon City and we're actually going to the ocean in Washington for a couple days beforehand so we can actually camp on the beach with our horses and I can't wait. Uh, I think I'm actually going to turn my cell phone off which I don't even know if I've ever done that but I just kind of need some you know disconnected head clearing time and I'm really looking forward to that so it's gonna be good. Uh, I've got some videos of what I kind of did this week with the horses again I didn't actually have any like barrel racing like no jackpots or anything and the rodeo was cancelled last weekend so I'm kind of looking forward to getting to do um, getting to compete next weekend it'll be awesome. Uh, my horse has actually got worked on by Katie at uh, No Limits Equine Therapy and she's actually my very first sponsor so I'm really excited to be on her team and um, I'm going to put a link, she doesn't have a website but she does have a Facebook page so for anyone that's in the Okanagan area and she does travel so keep an eye on her page, um, there'll be kind of more updates I guess on where she's going to be so I'm going to put a link for that um, down below here in the comments section, I don't know. Um, and also you guys can find her on through my Facebook page as well. It's called No Limits Equine Therapy. She's awesome. My horses feel like a million bucks and I'm really, really grateful for her. So she's great. Um, something else I wanted to mention is I actually got a couple messages from people this week just reaching out to me and kind of sending me a message and saying, oh, I watch your videos or really help me with this or whatever. I love hearing from you guys because I was saying to my mom, like, Doing YouTube videos is a funny thing. It's kind of like you just like put out radio waves and you don't really know who they get to and who they affect. So to hear from someone that actually watches and um, you know is affected by you in some way positively is really cool. So I just wanted to say I really appreciate those of you that have reached out to me um, and thank you for that. So it's you know really cool to hear back from you guys. But um, I'm just gonna show you a bit about my week here and um, yeah. I have a little date this evening. Hi! <laughs> I'm riding Mr. Chase and Tiffy's riding Gucci tonight. I think I'm biased, but the cutest. <laughs> Chase, just feed me. <laughs> <laughs> to Peachland which is well today was an hour drive from my house it's usually not quite that long um, and we're gonna go ride with my best friend Kyla we're gonna work barrels a little bit I've got both my horses with me um, I was supposed to be at a rodeo this weekend but it got cancelled so I'm just um, gonna do some practice instead mainly I need a practice run on Chase I feel like because I don't think I've ran him for like probably a month um, so it's a good idea I think and then um, they're also going to get worked on by their voodoo doctor, as I like to call her tonight. That's their equine therapist. Um, so they'll both be feeling good for us to go to Oregon next week. Well, aren't you guys just the cutest, huh? Yeah. Alright, just riding over to the arena. Alright, Chase first, and then you can see after. So, some of you guys may know that I'm late for everything. I'm like almost an hour late to meet Kyla. I'm sorry, Kyla. Although these two are partially to blame because they wanted to run laps in their field and not let me catch them. Chase is getting the Revita Vet Light. It's a miracle worker. Chase is vibing. Just getting home from 
riding and having my horses worked on by uh, Katie at No Limits Equine Therapy. She's awesome. Um, it was such a good night. Like I honestly, like I'm finding more and more now that being around my horses is a really good thing for me. Um, mainly just because I care obviously so much about them and it's almost like it's like my own little world. Like I get so focused on what I'm doing with them that I kind of not forget everything else that's going on in my life, but it's like I'm distracted for a little bit of time, um, which is nice on occasion. So it was a good night. I really needed that. Some positive people and just to smile and hang out and, you know, talk horses and focus on horses and everything. So it was really good. Um, a friend of mine just sent me something and uh, I just feel like it's so accurate and I don't know that everybody gets this, but um, it's along the lines of um, t or death changes everything, time changes nothing. I still miss you as much today as I did the day you died. And I feel like that's so true. Like I don't know if people understand I and mean, it doesn't really matter what they think, I guess. But like, as time goes on, I don't miss Chad any less. Like I still miss him just as much today as I did two months ago. Like this is still eating away at me inside. I think just as time goes on, you just learn to live with that kind of hole of the void really of missing someone that you love and care so much about. Um, which sucks. Like, I don't want that to be my reality. I want to see him. I want him to be here so bad. Like I do ugh, I'd give anything for that, but I don't know. Like, it's just the strangest thing. I think you just learn to live with, with a void, I guess. Trying to fix a fence <laughs> with babies around. Okay, so I think I've got my trailer almost packed to head to Oregon tomorrow. Um, I took the fridge out because my fridge was electric only and we're often not plugged in. And um, put up a little bulletin board, got the whiteboard I put up, and it's clean, which is rare. And then dad and I replaced some of the, well, dad did it, replaced some of the screws on the stud stall door because I was a little worried it's going to fall off. So I think we're about ready. So I picked this deco up today. This is on the back of my trailer. And I also have one for the back of my truck. Okay, so some days I really don't feel like doing anything and I just wanna kind of crawl into bed and hide from the world and do nothing. And I've been doing that most of the day today. Um, but I'm forcing myself to get my butt into gear here and go see my horses because I know um, that they kind of need me because we're like, we need to go, I need to ride basically. I'm, you know, leaving on Tuesday for Oregon and I know that they put me in a better headspace. So, or at least distract me from feeling everything. Sometimes I think a distraction is good. So I'm just going to go outside and see the horses and hopefully just turn things around for the evening. So talk about spoiled horses. This is my latest addition to treatment therapy. It's a nebulizer. And this is Grinchy's first time wearing it, and she's doing great. Figured with all the smoke going on and everything in the province, this might be a good idea. Suddenly right into it, I think she's starting to sleep. <laughs> yeah, what a good girl. So this will just help them to breathe a little bit easier. It's a mixture of saline and eucalyptus, so it just kind of helps to open the airways and um, clear up their breathing a bit. Okay, so Grinch lives up to her name on occasion, and uh, I tried to pop the little blue top off the little uh, medication cup there, and when I did, she went sailing backwards down the road, rearing up to about where that biker is. So uh, we've calmed down and we're back to normal now. So don't open the cup while it's on her face. All right, Chase's turn. He's a little unsure, but uh, <laughs> better behave than Grinchy anyway. I know you good boy. Oh, big day, guys. Katie's just checking us out here. I'm sure we're good to go to Oregon tomorrow.
<laughs> Can't quite make it through the fence. Come on, Lewis. <laughs> oh, she loves being spoiled. Just snoozing. Oh, you know I'm talking about you, huh? <laughs> All right, so I am off to Oregon City. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to just having a little bit of time and unplugging. Um, I'm still having like, I don't know. I just don't know how to live without Chad. That sounds stupid. And it's like, it's crazy how you become one person when you open your life to someone so much. Um, you know, they really are your other half. And then when the other half disappears, it's like you just, I don't know. <laughs> you just don't know how to function without them. And as dumb as that sounds, like, I mean, I've been, you know, without them for a long time part of my life too it's not like I'm not independent but it's that I just don't want to be I think and I you know clearly I'm missing him a ton so I'm hoping to just feel a little more connected uh, spiritually and just have some ocean time and you know just kind of feel more connected to chat and be disconnected from social media and electronics and stuff for a few days and just hang out with my horses and with Tiffany and it's gonna be awesome so I'm really looking forward to that um, yeah, thanks for watching you guys and um, I will keep you posted next week with how the grand finals went and uh, how Washington was. So see you guys later. Mm -hmm.